and good evening i hope you guys are doing well so today we are going to learn another important topic okay and this is very useful so assistant masking through attribute based access control policy okay so i know like attribute based access control policy is there from 7.x version as well but i have seen that still many people are not using and especially if you're junior if you don't know like and and this is a very common requirement like masking either aadhar number or ssn so you must have seen that like last five digit is mask and last uh, four digit is unmasked okay so if in most of the projects how people are doing they're like uh, doing using substring or in other way but uh, we should try to do it through the ssn like sorry through that at to the attribute based access control policy so today we'll be seeing in this in this relations okay so just be with me for 10 15 minutes and we will go through that whole process so let's just start it so you can see that here on the screen i have that ssn number and so basically we are going to achieve this is the same requirement okay so let's just start that so for that first what we will be doing okay so i have already have a case type okay so i'll simply create a case type and i'll show you so if i'll just fill some ssn number right nine digit ssn number and just submit a case let me just submit it okay i'll just put something maybe this is not mandatory okay i'll just submit it okay and i have another user okay so basically it is going to approval level so i have another user so i'll just so you can see the value here okay we have that complete value and i have another user so i'll go and do that get next week get next work with that user so let me try that so once i'll do that i'll get that case so this is the case id 5004 and this is the same case id so we can see the ssn here the full and this is the user so this is also we can see the the full now let's say the requirement is that if any user is using okay uh, okay then we have to hide this one okay last five digit we have to hide and rest we have to display only for the users okay so the other user id is this approver okay so this is the access group he has so we will be using access group to put the condition so we want if any users other than users then we want to display okay so i have logged in through the author okay so obviously when i'll run okay i should be able to see that but when the same case is same case uh, user is opening then he should not see that so this is our requirement so let's do that so the first thing what we have to do is that we have to go and create a access control policy so for that we need to navigate it to security and then access control policy okay so from here you can go ahead and create so what type of access control policy we have to create okay so we have many in this actions read update discover delete property read and property encrypt so today we are going to see property read okay uh, if you want to learn other things read update let me know and also you know like uh, Uh, if you want the complete training right then you can drop an email to uh, qtmeta@gmail.com so i usually attach that email in that descriptions of the video so please let me know if you're looking for complete training so today we are just going to learn property read okay so what i'll be doing i'll just create uh, i'll just give some name mask assassin something like that is the access control policy name and where we are going to create so this we were going to create in work class you can create like it will depend like which instance is you are fetching so basically we have this attribute that ssn on it's there on my work page only so if i'll show you the clipboard page i have on the work page so if i'll search ssn see this is there on the work page itself okay so that is where i'm trying to create in the work class i can create in the um case type class as well which is code but like i'm doing it in the work because this can be reused so now here what type uh, what type of i have selected is property read now we need to give a property which property we have to mask so we have to mask ssn and what is that your masking a strategy okay so i'm say, saying okay mask all but last n so last n is it will show so simply we are saying display the length of matches value and then last it will mask the four you can see that you can try here either you can if you want to mask the full that you don't want to show okay and this requirement is very common let's say you are going for uh, you have a loan uh, request or some some other type of 
you you're building an application where let's say you may don't want to expose the amount or like ssn or aadhar number to the to one specific group okay so and then you want to show to others one other right so in that case you can use this attribute based access control policy now we need to give a when rule here okay so we'll say is or we just simply say mask ssn okay simply we'll create another web. so this is access control policy when rule okay so this we say access control policy condition okay so this is conditions and this is access control policy so let's uh, first save this policy okay so first i'll just here i'll give something and then we'll go into detail px create operator is uh, not null and let's see and then i saved it okay so now let's see what is happening okay so we created that okay now let's see if some changes is happening still we can see that okay let's try with the user still we can see with the both now let's we need to add the condition okay and and to trace that i'll, I'll show you in tracer also how we can see that okay so let's uh, do something here okay so what i'll say is here it's saying when rule so i'll say use user is user okay basically we need to check okay we don't want to allow to user so the first thing you need to understand that okay that if i am returning true that means i am allowing to see the value okay and if i am returning false that means i am stopping okay so here you don't have to confuse okay so here i have to stop to user okay and, and basically i have to stop a particular group that is where i am creating you can create other way also when rule that you can create now what all user groups you want to expose okay so just you need to you need to understand this one very important that if i am if this if this access control policy is returning true means the value will not be masked if it is returning false then value will be masked okay so this is very much important so let's say i'm creating is user and is users i'll go ahead and i'll do i'll configure operator id dot py access group so i'll just i let's say i'll copy the system system pages so operator operator id dot py access group and i'll just copy the value from approver one so i copied this value let me put here so this will return true when i'm like user is type of user okay so any logged in user is uh, has the access group user okay so this will return true but we want to hide that users right so if i come to access control policy here so this means okay so this will return true okay because this when rule will return true but overall we want to return false okay so what we'll say here let's say a okay and then in this situations what we'll say px create control operator is null okay i'll tell you why so basically we need to configure because this is always returning true okay that yes this is user is uh, like a user okay type of user so here we'll say and then here i will add another conditions px create operator is not null i'll, I'll explain you don't worry about this one so here we'll say is not null okay so let's let's take a okay here a and then here we'll give b okay so px create operator is out of the box property and whenever we create a case okay we will always have this value so this will never be blank okay other than that if you are like playing with this attribute so see px create operator will never be blank okay so that means if i'll come here that means that is not null b will be always true so b will be always true means that if any user other than is user it will show the complete value okay so let's say if i'm trying with is author like uh, author okay means that the the logged in operator then the value should i should see complete value but if i'm trying with user okay then this condition is true but overall we want to return false okay so that is where i'm saying is user then permit access if a is also true right so this is already true and then i'm saying permit access if a is also true but then i'm saying px create operator is null okay which will always return false because px operate create operator cannot be null okay i i just showed you right that px create operator cannot be null 
here you can configure many things you can have a permit access you can configure like let's say you have a b c d conditions right so you can do like this okay and you can add as many as when rule if you want so this is just i'm giving an example okay but you need to configure based on your business requirement that how you want to do so this is just giving i'm giving an idea that it will allow okay if you are returning if this access control policy is returning true again i'm saying if it is returning true then you'll see the complete value but if it is returning false then you'll see the master value master value so here the b conditions okay is not null which it will be always true because yes the peaks create operator cannot be null is user okay and then this this is user and then a is combined so basically we have combined both of the things so is user will be true okay if i am trying with that is user okay and then but then this condition the second conditions will be false okay so let's go ahead and test our scenario so the first things what will we do we'll test it with this here only okay so i'll just refresh this see the value is not masked and i can run this report definitions as well so you can see that the value is not not masked let me try and refresh with the, the other user see the value is masked okay only it's showing the last four digit you can see that let's understand again that what we did in this access control policy condition okay or let's do it from the beginning okay let's recap it so the first things which is i created access control policy with property read access property read okay so while creations will get some access and and i selected property read and then here i added the property you can do multiple property if let's say with the based on one conditions you want to mask multiple property that also you can do let's say you want to mask amount you want to mask aadhar card or you have some other number okay and then here we added a, a, a access control policy so this is access con control policy and this is access control policy condition so in access control policy again i am repeating that that if the access control policy is returning true means it will allow okay allow like if let, if i'm whatever the actions we're doing that it will allow like let's say if i'm doing masking here so mask will masking will not work okay basically it will show the complete value but if i'm returning false then it will mask that so here what we're doing we're checking is user okay so we created a when rule and checking that the access group access group what is the access group of the user so if it is a user then we are going and checking the other conditions okay the b a condition and a conditions we are saying is null px create operator null so here i have used px create operator right but in your in your business case maybe you can have your other property okay if you want to compare with your other property which is there on the work page you can do it so here i'm saying basically i want to i have to return false in this scenario okay in this first scenario in the combination of is user and a so then have i have selected is null which will never be that case right unless and until you are not playing uh, you are playing with this property and then if not user other than user okay then it will come to this scenario because this will be false okay is user will be false then it will come otherwise it will execute b and then what we have what we have added in b is that px create operator is not null okay which will always be true and then uh, if it is true then will not mask and if it is a false then will will mask okay so let's go ahead and create another case and see that so this time i'll give let's say eight digit we have to give right 4 5 6 8 1 2 3 so we'll just see 1 2 3 4 in the end let's create so here we can see that entire value okay so i i just sent it to approval now i'll do a, i'll go ahead and do a get next work with this user and see we are just seeing 1 2 3 4 in the last so this is how we can do the masking okay and so this is uh, so we are done with that uh, today's class okay so you you try do the poc and let me know if you have any question or, and also if you are looking for complete training let me know okay and i can help you so that's it for today's session so thank you thank you very much have a good day bye